beauty videos are my favourite videos to watch on YouTube. I'm going to share with you my April beauty favourites. Hi, my name is Ange and I like to upload beauty and lifestyle videos aimed at the more mature lass. If you think that may interest you, you may want to click on the subscribe button down below to see more videos like this. Thanks for joining me today guys. If you would like to see what my April favourites are, just keep watching. Okay, so I don't have a heck of a lot of favourites today. I didn't film a favourites video last month. Things were a little rough here in New Zealand after the mosque shootings and especially in the city where I live, Christchurch, where it happened. The whole country basically shut down and we were in a complete state of shock. Um, I, we know it happens overseas and around the world but it was something that we'd never experienced in our little country down under. So the last thing on my mind was uh, the, the frivolity of makeup etc. It's interesting though because even though that felt like frivolity to me at the time, it's been the fact that I've been playing with makeup since that has brought me back and I've, I've had some joy in playing with my makeup and I'm sort of um, a little bit more back to normal so that is the joy of having something that uh, brings you a little little bit of sparkle in your life. So the things that I have been using on a very regular basis I have to share with you today and the first item is actually a skincare gadget. I have had this for a little while but I am not very consistent in using it on a regular basis. After watching a video that Lisa Eldridge, the makeup artist extraordinaire, absolutely swears by this device, I decided to bust mine out again and it is the New Face device. I have the New Face Trinity which is the larger more expensive device because I'm hoping in the future that I might purchase the Wii and if we, we can take the Wii gadget off I can replace the head and I might get the eye attachment to try that out as well. I have been using this more regularly on a daily basis, I now have it plugged in on my vanity in my bathroom and I'm really enjoying it. It's actually such a lovely um, thing to do at the end of the day. Just take the time and uh, listen to the beeps and go through the motions. It's very relaxing at the end of the day. So I have been enjoying my new face. Something I have been wearing on an absolute daily basis since I found it. And I'm very shocked because... Deep down I'm a foundation snob and I tend to like the higher end foundations and that is because I have more than one problem to tackle when looking for the perfect foundation. I have textured skin, large pores, I'm oily but I'm also mature and getting aging skin with the fine lines and the wrinkles and I have to be careful what sort of foundations I like to use. I don't particularly like the dewy glowy foundations because it just is reminiscent of my oily days but recently I discovered the L'Oreal Stay Fresh Foundation 24 Hour. Now I think in the US it is called the Maybelline Freshwear Foundation. We have packaging is different here on the other side of the world and it's usually a different name as well to what's available in the United States. Now this is a drugstore foundation I absolutely love. It gives a satin finish, it gives very good coverage and I feel it just completely smooths out my skin with the coverage. It doesn't look cakey, um, it doesn't look shiny but it doesn't look overly matte either. And the colour that I have this in is 150 Radiant Beige. 
and I have been pairing that with a powder that has knocked off my number one powder which was the RMS Unpowder. It's knocked it off its perch and I'm going to buy a backup of this so that I never run out of it. And it is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking Setting Powder. I have mine in the colour Pound Cake. Now these two together are an absolute gem. But this powder seriously goes well with every foundation that I have put it with. It just smooths out my skin. It doesn't settle into my fine lines and wrinkles of anything I find. It, it sort of blurs that. It certainly helps with my texture and my open pores. And lo and behold, I don't like setting under my eyes. I'm very, very particular, very fussy because I've got... I, my eye under eyes and my, all the wrinkles around my eyes are the thing that tell my age I believe and so I'm very wary about powders under my eyes but this is so finely milled that I do use it with a damp sponge very lightly under my eyes and that is a first for me so absolutely loving this powder. Two palettes that I've been loving I have reviewed one but Sephora on our side of the world got in early and a couple of weeks ago we had our 20% off sale. I decided to get the complimentary palette to it. The palette I'm talking about is the Becca Hashtag BFF Chloe and Malika collection. Now I did do a review on this palette here which is the Chloe palette with beautiful, nice apricotty quite warm spring summer colours and as I said I think it's a perfect palette for the summer spring summer and while the sale was on I decided to get the Malika palette now this just has deeper shades to it the Chloe palette is designed for light to medium and then this palette is for medium to deep I love this I love these palettes. I love face palettes because if you're going away for a weekend or a quick trip away, I love the fact that in them you've got your highlights, you've got a contour or, or bronzer, you've got blush, you can use them as eyeshadows if you want to and it's just a really easy thing to throw in your bag. Now I have a mixture of both of these on my face today. For the bronze, I used the bronze out of the Chloe palette. I then went in with this stunning blush shade in the Malika palette. Then I thought I'd just, you know, play with makeup. And I did a blush topper just on the apples of my cheeks of this colour out of the Chloe palette. And then in the on my high points of my face, my cheeks, my cupid's bow, nose, and in a in a corner of my eye, I've used the highlight from here as well. So they definitely have some shimmer to them, but they're just beautiful. Now I was really tempted to get the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm palettes, but from seeing the reviews online or seeing the reviews on YouTube, I feel these are very, very similar and then just about, not quite, half the price. So I'm pleased I've got these. I don't think I'll get the Charlotte Tilbury ones because they will end up costing me nearly $150 each. These are $74 New Zealand dollars and I got my 20% off the Malika one and they're $44 US dollars. So I am really happy I've got these and it means I don't need and don't intend to spend any money on the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm palettes. Now recently I did two videos. One was my top 10 eyeshadow palettes of permanent collection eyeshadow palettes and then I followed that up with my favourite limited edition eyeshadow palettes. Now they were a request from quite a few people who wanted to see my favourite eyeshadow palettes after I filmed my makeup collection or makeup stash video. I'll leave a link to that just up here. And so all those 
palettes that I selected were what I had in my makeup stash. Now since filming the makeup stash video, I have received and have been using on a very regular basis because I absolutely love this palette. I'm wearing it on my eyes today and that is the Natasha Denona All Neutral, depending on how you look at it, Bieber palette or barbecue palette. Mel Thompson first alerted me to the barbecue palette and then I love Kinky Sweet as well and she has keeps calling it the barbecue palette as well so I can't see past that anymore. Anyway this palette is just divine. I have done a review of that. I will leave a link to that just above here but that was a first impressions video. I love this palette. I strongly feel that this will become one of my top five eyeshadow palettes. I love every colour in here. I've used every colour in here and I have just been reaching for it on a daily, daily basis. I feel you could just get a one shadow done and run eyeshadow look and or you can go more glam like I'm wearing today. But highly recommend this palette and I know it's expensive and there are alternative dupes to it that if you would like a video on that please let me know in the comments below and I can offer you some dupes and even in single shadow dupes for you for this palette but if you are after one particular amazing palette I think this is a maze balls. Now I am a sort of a matte lipstick or liquid lip lipstick type of girl because I apply my lipstick in the morning and I'm not one to be reapplying it three or four times a day especially on a work day so I do like my matte lipsticks that have more longevity and my liquid lips but recently I ordered and it was in the Sephora sale that I got this and it is the Fenty Beauty the lip gloss in the color Fussy. Now it is what I'm wearing today and I love the fact that I can wear it over my liquid lips. The liquid lip that I'm wearing underneath this is the Anastasia Ludwig liquid lip and then I have topped it with Fussy. I do have the original Fenty Gloss Bomb and I really enjoy that. I actually wear that a lot on its own but I am loving this topped over my more matte lipsticks to give it a bit of gloss and I love the pinky hue to it. It has, um, I'm not normally a pink girl but I just love the pink tones to this lip gloss. Something I'm not used to wearing, but I'm really enjoying it. Something else that I alluded to in a previous video was the fact that I had some Sonia G and Wayne Goss brushes. Now, I was just going to talk about the Sonia G brushes as my favourites, and I thought, well, actually, I love the Wayne Goss ones equally as much. I have been enjoying these so much. They are a pleasure to use. Don't get me wrong, I am slowly introducing these, you know, bit by bit, one by one. When I place an order, I might add a brush to my cart when I am shopping with Beautylish. I have to say out of all the brushes I have, my favourite would be the Sonia G Worker One brush. I absolutely love this brush. It is great for packing eyeshadow all over the lid, but I love the shape of it that you can turn it on your side. You can turn it on its side and it makes a beautiful crease transition. It just buffs everything out. And I love this brush. It's just a simple, it just makes applying my makeup very, very enjoyable, simple, and quick. My question to you guys is, is I never know which brush to get when I, I get overwhelmed 
and let me know down in the comments below if you find the same thing I have in my head I'm going to go on the website and I want to buy a Sonia G and, and I'm doing this with Smith brushes as well I haven't even ordered a Smith cosmetics brush because I get on the website and then I go through and I can't make up my mind which one or which two I want to buy so I don't buy any so what I'm wanting to know from you guys is what are your favorite Sonia G or Wayne Goss brushes especially face brushes I haven't taken the plunge with face brushes because they're a lot more expensive but I'd like to know down in the comments below if you have any Sonia G or Wayne Goss face brushes could you please let me know down in the comments below what is your favorite I really would like to pick a few out that I could add to my collection I have got quite a few makeup brushes but the good thing that I can make myself feel better about it is my daughter is just starting out in makeup and I can replace with some beautiful brushes and I can move some of my affordable brushes onto her so that she can use them. Now one of the other things with as far as beauty goes that I've really been enjoying and I have to say I was really quite shocked that this ended up being a bit of a favorite with me. Now recently I filmed a video and I'll leave a link up here on the I recreated the Scott Barnes Tarty Snatural makeup look. Uh, it really doesn't look very natural when you're seeing the video but I've been quite impressed with some of the techniques that came about with that. Um, I think when you look at it you think it is just caked and caked and caked with makeup but it's not it's layered it's not like you do a layer of contour then a layer of foundation then a layer of highlighter and a layer of blush it's actually departmentalized so you do your contour you do your blush you do your highlighter and then you use your foundation in the spots where you haven't got those beauty products. Now I am not doing that look on a daily basis but I have incorporated some of them at different times of when I do my makeup depending on how I feel and I really am quite impressed with how your skin can look implementing these techniques. So I do have to say thank you so much Tati, thank you so much to Scott Barnes. You really gave us some new techniques to give us a bit more joy in our lives with playing with makeup and that definitely has been a favourite for me. I would love to hear down in the comments below what your favourites have been for the month. I would love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos from me. If you'd like to see some more videos from me, you can just click on either of these videos here and they will take you to another video from me if you would like to see that. Take care guys, have a wonderful and a beautiful day. I look forward to seeing you next time. See ya, bye.